from John Wick being linked to the Matrix to hoping the hardened, suited-up assassin gets to reunite with his family, fans are hard at work trying to come up with theories. Because John Wick is coming back for a fourth movie that's going to be more action-packed than ever. Very well, gentlemen. The Continental will now be reconsecrated. Good day to you both. Keanu Reeves' electrifying performance as the unstoppable assassin, combined with mind-blowing fight scenes, has made this franchise an instant classic. But hold on to your seats, folks, because the release of John Wick 4 has been pushed back a whole year. It's a bummer. But that just means that we have even more time to geek out and fantasize about what's to come after that jaw-dropping cliffhanger in John Wick Chapter 3. So, let's grab some popcorn, get comfy, and let our imaginations run wild. Because one thing's for sure, if it's anything like these fan theories, it's gonna be a wild ride when John Wick returns. John Wick 4 might just bring us an epic battle of Avengers Endgame proportions. One Reddit user, Psycho, thinks that we'll see all of our favorite characters team up against the villains, with John rallying his old friends and mentors to take on an army of deadly assassins. But wait, there's more! A fifth movie has already been confirmed. That means we might not get the ultimate showdown until the very end of the franchise. Who knows when that will be, though? Keanu Reeves has said that as long as the fans keep loving John Wick, they'll keep making movies. Regardless of when it happens, we can be sure that when John Wick and his crew face off against the bad guys, it's going to be the most jaw-dropping fight choreography that we've ever seen on the big screen. So, get ready for action, and let's hope that Psycho's prediction comes true in John Wick 4. Another Redditor thinks that the movie will definitely take place in Berlin. After all, that's where the crew has been filming. But don't worry, it's not just going to be one long Berlin-based movie. Remember how John traveled to Rome in Chapter 2 and then to Casablanca in Chapter 3 Parabellum? Well, it looks like John will be globetrotting once again, with crew shooting in three countries, including Japan and France. And if that's not enough to get you excited, we might even see three more European continental hotels. That's right, John Wick 4 is going to expand the world of the series even further, with new locations and new characters. Speaking of new characters, they're probably going to have to kill off some of the old ones to make space for new ones, and it's very likely that John will kill Winston. When we last left our hero in Chapter 3 Parabellum, Winston shockingly shot him on the rooftop of the Continental. John Wick is out for revenge and ready to take down his former friend. But wait, there's another theory that's throwing everything we thought we knew into question. Some fans believe that Winston and John actually staged the whole rooftop scene as a way to outsmart the high table. After all, if Winston really wanted to kill John, why shoot him in a place where he could survive? It's all very mysterious, and we can't wait to see what actually went down between these two old friends. Will John seek revenge on Winston, or will they team up to take down a common enemy? Only time will tell. On that note, we're not just looking forward to a reunion of friends, I'm hoping we see Wick reunite with his family. While we know a little bit about the assassin's past, there's still so much we don't know, particularly when it comes to his family. But according to Reddit user Greyleaf, we may be in for a shocking revelation in Chapter 4. Wick might have an unknown family member, specifically a long-lost brother in jail. Sure, the theory might sound a little too reminiscent of the Fast and Furious franchise, but who knows what surprises the John Wick team has in store for us. However, not everyone is convinced that this theory holds water. After all, there hasn't been any law enforcement presence in the John Wick movies, except for a brief appearance by a police officer in the first film. So it might be unlikely that the story will take us to prison. There's a theory that John Wick might just be in the Matrix universe. It's a theory that's been around since the very beginning, coming from the idea that the movies are connected to the Matrix in some way. Could it be possible that we've been watching a Matrix saga and spin-off this whole time? The similarities between Neo and Wick are hard to ignore, and with Lawrence Fishburne appearing in both franchises, it's not hard to see why fans are eager to connect the dots.
but let's not get too carried away. It's important to remember that these are two very different stories. So, while we wait for John Wick 4 to hit theaters, let's keep the theories coming. Who knows what we'll come up with next? Maybe we could see John get his ring back. In Parabellum, John Wick takes a trippy journey to the desert to meet with the Elder, where he's forced to make a painful sacrifice by cutting off his own finger and giving up his wedding ring. But will he get it back in Chapter 4? It's possible that not only will he retrieve his precious symbol, but there'll be a thrilling scene where Wick takes no prisoners in getting it back. After all, the entire series is built on the foundation of revenge. And if there's one thing Wick won't stand for, it's losing the last remaining piece of his beloved wife. Which could very well happen if the Elder ends up using the ring in an inventive way. One Redditor, Ungrateful Misfit, has come up with a wild theory about how the Elder will use Wick's precious wedding ring against him. According to the theory, the Elder will not only take Wick's ring, but will melt it down and make a bullet out of it. And if that wasn't insane enough, the Elder will appoint someone to use the bullet to assassinate Wick. It's definitely an over-the-top idea. But in a world where Wick can kill three men with a pencil, anything is possible. However, with the fifth movie already in the works, it's unlikely that the plan will succeed. John Wick's story won't be ending anytime soon. But I can't say the same for Halle Berry's character, Sophia. He shot my dog. I get it. We gotta go. Now. According to the user, Sophia will have a bigger role in the film and will even become a target due to her quest to find her daughter. But here's the real kicker. John Wick himself will be the one to take her out. Sounds wild, right? Unfortunately, Barry herself has confirmed that she won't be appearing in Chapter 4. But who knows? Maybe she's just trying to throw us off the scent. After all, actors have been known to fib about their involvement in projects before. I don't know about you guys, but Sophia's character is one that I want to see more of in the next movie. On that note, Sharon is another character I'm looking forward to seeing in John Wick 4. In the first two John Wick movies, Sharon was just a hotel concierge who appeared to be harmless. However, in Parabellum, he showed off his combat skills and proved that he's no slouch when it comes to handling weapons. According to the Redditor, the unassuming front desk guy is much deadlier than he let on in the third movie, and he's ready to unleash his full potential. Well, folks, those were some fan theories about John Wick 4.